guys. Today we are actually, Jay's already in the middle of moving out of our closet. He is behind the camera and I'm about to show you our before, which if I was smart, I would have cleaned it and organized it and then showed you before, but I didn't and it's an absolute disaster. But I'm gonna share with you really quickly our closet before, dirty and all, and share with you a few like planning things in this video as well as like we're gonna do a little video series on we are technically kind of renovating our closet is that what you call it we never had a closet and then we kind of assembled our own so we're actually getting around to doing our full closet so just ignore my outfit but I'm gonna share with you the closet the before and share with you some things that I like that I would recommend and some things that didn't work as well as I had planned and what I would recommend. So, let's go. <laughs> There's Cinderella. <laughs> He's so cutie. Okay, so the light is on. This is the closet. As you can see, it's a total kind of disaster. Um, but this is the space that we're working with. Jay will show you around. My side is really messy, so we're not gonna focus too much on some of that, but you can take a peek and then just forget that it was ever in your mind. Um, some pieces like this dresser. Oh man, this is your side too. Oh yeah. I only had this. Yeah, Jay's already moved in. That was so mine. like three minutes to move I moved out. out, two handfuls. So we do have this dresser, which um, we kind of got like after we had put things together. Um, but it's been really helpful in storing clothes. So I would recommend, even if you're doing like a temporary closet, get a dresser. Even if it's not, this is like a nice family piece, but even if it's not, if it's a cheap one that you can find, like drawers are awesome. I wish we had more of them, but we are about to get a closet, so I'm being patient. Um, anyways, as you can see, the, what is this called? This a dog. No, not this one. So we never did the baseboard in this room, but we did do the crown, crown. around the top. Um, so all of that is gonna change. So we didn't do but too much because we knew we wanted to add cabinetry. Like the lighting was never intended to be here, what is here. Um, so a light fixture will go in the middle. Um, but that worked, it gave us light. We still don't have window treatments, but that's to come. So we've already have our closet design drawn up Everything is almost ready to go, and we have had some design meetings, so there will be videos to follow on that. However, for a good, the first year, we had like absolutely nothing in here. I think we got the Ikea. These racks are from Ikea, and I absolutely love them. I think they were like 11, no, maybe they were like $12 a piece. They ended up being so great. I have so much on them, and they haven't fallen apart ever. They were pretty easy to put together, and they were, like I said, they were really cheap, really basic, so I would recommend those. Also, the bookshelves are from Target. These are like the cheapest ones you can buy. Um, they don't, you know, there are some spots that I don't love about them, but for the most part, it's customizable. We'll reuse them somewhere else, and I think these might be like $35. I have a vlog of us putting these together, so I'll link that down below. <laughs> um, but it just worked really great for my shoes and my handbags the metal racking. I had higher like hopes for this. Jay is a lot more organized than I am, so his probably worked out really well. The metal racking for me didn't work as well because some of like the thinner, um, more, you know, softer clothing items <clears throat> tend to like seep through the cracks. Chunky, heavy sweaters, jeans, stuff like that were great because they don't tend to fall through, but other things, it's just a must. So, um, I would say it's a great idea and we can definitely reuse them. So, I would say overall it was a good purchase. We tried to think about like the bigger, the metal racking was more expensive than for say these bookshelves and we just tried to think about like how we can reuse these items since we knew they were temporary from the start. But that's just a few things that I would recommend. Like I said, the Ikea racks and the Target bookshelves, the metal racking isn't terrible, but it'll work. And yeah, so those are just like a few thoughts on that. Jay, do you have any input? No, nope, that's it. I would just keep in mind if you are creating like a temporary closet to keep it budget friendly and then also think about how you can reuse the items. I'm excited to have the clothing racks um, to one, like put in other rooms and like hang things. Travel even. use. Yeah, it's the clothing racks are really great for travel. Like 
mine are filled up, but before they were filled up, it's like really great to pull them out and put together your clothes that you're traveling with. So it makes it really easy to see and I really like that. The next video is definitely going to be more exciting and more beautiful than this. But I think it is important to see the before, even if it's not very pretty. Um, I think it's important to see the before. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more in this series, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.